rug. This is squirrel. Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I promised a certain someone that the next look would be a simple look, if you will. So for that reason, in today's video, I'm going to be using all drugstore products. Everything is affordable and probably under $10. So if you want to see what look I create that is very simple, but yet sultry, then let's jump right into the video. All right, guys, so to start out with, I'm going to be going in with the Wet n Wild Prime Focus Primer Serum. And this is very hydrating, yet cooling on the face. And I'm just going to be priming the face with this. I'm going to take my little roller and just kind of smooth it all out everywhere. I believe they say these rollers, what does it bring back or promote collagen in the face? I'm not sure. Don't listen to me because I half the time don't know what I'm talking about unless it's a medical issue. And since we're on a very light look, I'm going to go ahead and do the foundation first. If you've watched my previous videos, you know I normally don't do that. But since the eyes are not going to be too heavy, I'll be taking the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer just to fill in the pores on my face. This is a drugstore. You can get it at Walmart, CVS. Um, Walgreens, probably anywhere that sells e.l.f. Target, my fave, and I'll just kind of concentrate it mostly like right in this area where I have the most pores. Let's just do that. Now I'm going to be taking the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation, and this is in the shade Caramel, and it has a little spatula type deal. This is too dark, but we're going to use um, some concealer to make it work. Wow, make it work because it's super not my color. Now I'm just going to blend it out with a brush. And remember, this is not my shade, but we will make it work. Don't come for me in the comments. I already know that it's just not my shade. Next, I'll be going in with the e.l.f. 16 Hour Camo Concealer, and this is, this is in the shade Light Beige. I'm just going to be taking a Juno & Co sponge and just blending that out. Next, I'm going to be going in with the Wet n Wild Sunset Strip Tease Bronzer, and it looks like this. These are all affordable. Again, you can find these at your local drugstore for just a few bucks. Next, I'll be going in with the Mega Glow Hello Halo Blush Highlighter. And this is in the shade I Met Someone. I'm just going to be taking a small duo fiber brush and just picking up some of the blush shade right here. And just ever so slightly just kind of... Now, as you can see, that does have a little bit of sheen to it because it is a highlighter slash blush. It looks like this. So because it has a sheen to it, I am going to go ahead and take e.l.f. Powdered Blush in the shade Always Cheeky. And just going to give it a little dab right there. A little bit on my nose. Just make it look like you have that little bit of a sun kiss effect. Now I'm going to be taking the e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder. It looks like this. I picked this up from Walmart the other day, I think for six bucks. And I'm going to use it just to set underneath the eyes and pretty much the whole face. I'm going to take a huge brush, dip it in here, and I'm just kind of setting everywhere. Now I'm going to go in with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Coconut Primer. This is a 3-in-1 coconut primer. Just to bring back some skin so we don't look so powdery. Oh, that smells so good. It just reminds me, it reminds me of the beach. Like it just has that coconut beachy scent. Yeah. This next product is not really considered a drugstore product because you have to order it online or you have to go to Ulta Beauty, but it is drugstore price. And I'm going to be taking the ColourPop I Think I Love You palette. And this, I believe, retails, this is $10 at Ulta Beauty if they have it or on the ColourPop website. And it's just ColourPop.com. What I'm going to do is start out with this dark brown shade right here. I'm just going to deepen that up a little bit and blend it out. I'm going to drag 
it out like that to kind of create like a small like shadow wing. Next I'm going to go ahead and use the Maybelline Pumped Up Colossal Volume Express Mascara just to um, give my lashes some volume and prep them for falsies. I don't really pay a lot for mascara because I just don't think it does anything for my lashes. So. Now my favorite part of the whole makeup application. I'm going to be taking the Ioni 3D Faux Mink Lashes and this is in the style Natural Light Wispy and I picked these up at the Dollar Tree. These were the lashes that I raved about in my last video. If you haven't seen it, you can always just click on that video at the end of this one because it'll pop up somewhere either on this side or on that side. But I did find it at the Dollar Tree, not the Dollar General. I keep specifying it because I'm just shocked that you can find such good quality lashes at the Dollar Tree for one dollar. Again, these are super light, super airy. Not my style, but for someone else, I said I would do a soft, natural-ish, easier, not as intricate makeup look. I went downstairs and my husband said, why does your face look bald? <laughs> I said because I didn't do a full glam because everybody don't like a full glam and Someone asked that I just do something soft and something neutral and simple. And now my face looks bald. Why? Because I don't have lashes on? Why? Because I don't have dip brow pomade on my brow? Why? Because it's just natural and fluffy brow? No lashes? Soft lashes? Is that why I'm bald? I don't appreciate it. I know where you live. I know where you sleep. I prepare your foods. I'm just saying. I'm gonna be taking, um, I don't even wanna show you the packaging because it's so dirty and you guys are gonna think, eh, she's nasty. But I'm not nasty, I just have a lot of makeup and sometimes it transfers on the white stuff. So anyways, I'm gonna be taking the Essence This Is Nude 05 lipstick. And yeah, this is nude. taking the Maybelline this is probably the most expensive product that I'm using in today's video this is the Maybelline lifter gloss it is drugstore but it is a little pricier on the drugstore I think it's like 10 11 dollars somewhere like that um, this is the lifter gloss in the shade amber 007 you guys you guys oh I forgot highlight I'm gonna be going back in with the uh, wet n mild hello halo highlighter um, and I'm going to be taking the gold shade now. <laughs> Some of that gold shade and just kind of throw it right here. And it's not very, very pigmented, so we can go kind of crazy if we want to. Just make it like shoosh. Yeah, looks really good for natural. I just, I can't ever get enough of highlight. And so for the last step, I'm going to go ahead and take the Wet n Wild 3-in-1 Coconut Photo Focus Primer and set the face. Oh my god, give me all the beaches in America. <sighs> Smells like heaven. Like if heaven had a stream or like a beach up there, that's what it smells like. Heaven might have a beach, you never know. Have you been there? Do you know? All right guys, I believe that completes today's look. I hope you enjoyed it. All right guys, so I really hope you enjoyed the video. It's very simple, very soft. Everything is drugstore, everything is affordable. If you enjoyed this video, remember to give it a thumbs up, subscribe down below, hit the notification bell so you know about every time I upload a video. And until next time, bye guys.